welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 344, NASDAQ up 278, SPs up 66. Gold, gold contract trading down $6.80 at 1924 an ounce. We have silver down six cents, twenty-one dollars eighty-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up sixty-six cents, sixty-eight dollars twenty-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down twenty-seven ticks, trading one fourteen oh nine. The thirty-year down thirty-one ticks at one thirty twenty-three. And king dollar, king dollar right now trading down two forty-five, one oh four four hundred. The euro is at one oh six. The yen is at one thirty-three, and the British pound is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. We're going to bring the futures up first because we just had another spike high, and let's see if we get any volume behind it. Because we have divergence out here in between the S&P and the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ 100 is much stronger um, than the S&P in a big way. So... I see what that's doing. Okay, that, the S&P is just going up to try, the futures are just going up to try to test the highs of today. If we go into the SPY, we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see, you know, you get price movement big time, huge contraction of volume also. Yesterday, what we had out here, you get volume. Don't stick on me now. We've had a little problems. This They're doing a lot of work somewhere on these streets outside, folks. That's why, we've, and they got us down yesterday and the, today, but we're back up. Okay, so... We did have yesterday. We did 172 million, uh, con, you know, shares, and today you're at 100 million. That being said, if we go over to the queues, what you're going to see in the queues, the queues want to go reach for the high of a couple weeks ago. The queues out here, they just it's it's a full trend all the way up, not backing down. You're up seven dollars and fifty cents. You get 74 million shares traded already. You're taking out the swing point. The swing point had 56 million. That's hot, easy to take out, and you can see at the top of this. Basically set up, what you have is that you have a high volume high at 313. The low of that is 306.79. Uh, we, we did volume of 83 million there. And, you know, bottom line, what, what has also happened here is that the Qs have got back inside the higher range again. Because that's when we had broken top side. So we'll see how it's going to handle it uh, tomorrow. I expect we, we're going to be up there tomorrow. We're going to take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract had a sideways move out here today. You know, last couple of days, you've had a lot of contract volume. You've got higher today out here, building cars. You've done 237,000 contracts. Um, you know, I just, it, it, the gold contract's going to have to build cars because of the fact of how we actually came down. So if we take a look at this, you're going to see what's basically stopping. What's stopping this is that the way that we had come down at the uh, end of January. You know, we went to 1932 to, 19, to 1874. Uh, we hit the 1938 yes, uh, today. Uh, yesterday, you pushed with volume. So though, today, you went sideways. That's building cause. So this is building cause to basically get up to those highs. The note and bond market. So the note and bond market, the 10-year has given up everything that it had going for it yesterday. That says to, that we will back down. You know, But something that you want to really wrap your head around here is this. And this is what's really cool. So... The last two moves in the 10-year, we started out at 116.28. We got down to the 110.12 area. Well, you're almost back to that area, so let's say it's going to back down again. You back down with light of volume, it's going to be a buy. That's the real bottom line. You know, that's if and we even get that far. And if we go into the continuous contract and look at the continuous contract, you're going to see... The setup is pretty cool, man. You know, we'll see if this thing's going to hold. Um, but you're going to see we actually came right back to waiting for this to come up right now. Oh, look, at that. I keep forgetting you got to go back more than 15 years. This is wild, man. <laughs> when you have to go back more than 15 years in the bond market, folks, it's something else. 
but you'll see what I'm talking about here. You've come into this swing, and you know, the, the swing, this swing is, yeah, the swing's back to 2007. That swing there was uh, 111.22, and open this a little up, and we had the last low that was established for us was about five months ago. That was 108.26. Now, we came back down. We didn't break it. So that says, you know, bottom line, at these lower levels, more than likely what you're going to have, you pull back with lighter volume, you know, the rate structures are going to be basically, you know, waffling between uh, on the 10 year right now at 3.5 we hit four this is the second time we've hit four we're probably going to be going between the four on the 10 year 3.3 on the 10 year something like this we'll see whether uh, we're actually going to break those levels but we're going to have the next Fed meeting um, is the 22nd I believe and I expect you know you're at 4.5 to 4.7 I expect you're still going to see a quarter point Lagarde out here this morning, they went up a half a point, bottom line, you know, um, there's a differential, there's no doubt, between uh, the banks going south and the aspect of uh, where inflation is. What's going to get intriguing is this First Republic deal. So the First Republic deal, what they're floating out here right now is that they're going to basically, the, the nation's biggest banks are going to be, uh, the, the, the government's trying to get them to agree to, to deposit, okay, $30 billion dollars. Uh, and the banks they were talking about to deposit are J.P. Morgan, City Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Morgan Stanley, U.S. Bankrupt, Trust Financial, PNC. Um, you know, we'll see how that baby uh, goes. Because the bottom line is that uh, when we get back, I'll, I'll walk you through uh, how how this would basically work. But um, <laughs> they, you know, the bank the bank itself is basically bankrupt, folks. Okay. Um, and the, one of the main reasons <coughs> that these other banks would come in is because First Republic pushes out so much paper. You know, you can see First Republic today, you know, it got down to, to $19.80 again. Well, you know, if we, if we look at Monday, it was at 17. Tuesday, you're at 50. Today, at 19. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.